like it's too early for this stuff. <laughs> you got your coffee. That should wake <laughs> you up a little bit. So put our boot covers on. If the man who lived inside this Bloomington house ever had company, this might be how the guests would arrive. But no one ever visited this house. He refused a lot of help. He wouldn't let anybody inside the house. No neighbors. It had been three days since we had seen him. He died inside the house? He died inside the house, uh-huh. Yeah. No repairman. He actually lived with the windows boarded up like this. Oh, they didn't board this up after him? No, he was he so reclusive he wanted to live this way. And definitely no maid service. Today, housekeeping is finally knocking on the door, where the filth is overwhelming. Yeah, he, exactly, and that's probably why he uh, passed away. These are the tools of crime scene SteriClean. That's Tammy Chalmers. This house is just so dirty that there is going to be all kinds of stuff coming out. And her husband, Corey's company. You see, since no one else will, the county has asked them to clean up the dead man's home. He lived here under the thickest cotton candy spider webs and his web weaving roommates. Okay, I saw a black widow out there. Oh my goodness, we got all these webs up here. Yeah, this is pretty much years and years and years worth of uh, spider webs from pretty much just daddy long legs. Wow. They fed off the bugs. There were rats too. Looks like rat crap. And the cats. Had billions of cats. Whoa, 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 whoa what is that? Well, that looks like a a cat. It's a mummified cat? Yeah. There's a reason why the man lived like this. You would never know that this exists behind these doors. Compulsive hoarding is a mental disorder, a severe form of OCD. Yeah. Have a Coke and a smile, 1981. Somewhere yeah. in the early 80s, when they still called him sugar smacks, not honey smacks. And that's why some of this is archaeology. This man. Fernando. It's Fernando. Oh, it's yeah. Fernando. Stop throwing anything away. Is there even a floor in here? Or is it just dirt? It's all piled here. All of Fernando's TV guides. I didn't even dig very deep this November 77. TV guide time. Ooh. When he died, he left this filthy mess for the cleanup crew to sanitize and study. So, for instance, this is Bibliomania, which is the collection of any type of written material. <laughs> 9 p.m. on CBS 2, Three Musketeers. Yeah, all right. In case you wondered. The books are covered in dust and rat droppings, and they're nowhere near the kitchen. All right, this is the Geraldo moment right here. What's in there? Oh, God. Oh, uh, well, pretty much everything. Oh, oh, yeah, got to okay. close that. You would think the best way to approach a house this filthy would be with a bulldozer. Watch the fine paint. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a collector's piece. Don't even try to All figure right. why he kept the outdoor TV antenna indoors. Yeah, no matter how disgusting, this is still a house in Southern California. I didn't even realize it, but this is a story about the Los Angeles real estate market and how crazy it is. Yeah, it shows you what people will buy, huh? <coughs> All that dust in there mixed with whatever else is in there. <laughs> yeah. It's a dirty job, but there's money to be made here. An investor will come in, they'll auction it off, and it'll be rebuilt to new. The house even the neighbors never saw. We used to take his groceries up to the back door, and he wouldn't let us in. We'll soon have a new resident who most likely will never know about Fernando, his habits, or his animal friends. And as we're moving this whole pile, a cat jumped out of here somewhere and ran into the house. I never saw myself doing this before, but now I can't see myself doing anything else. And this house will actually fill up three of those bins, and Crime Scene Stericlean will do four of these houses this week. I'm off to the next crazy job. I'm Dave Malkoff, CBS 2 News.